Okay, I'm going to go through the alpha and texture loader plugin. So once you have it installed within your alpha palette, you're going to have an alpha library with load alphas. You're also going to find under your texture, your texture library load textures. So once I click on texture, I'm going to get the interface. As you notice, I already have some images preloaded. So at the top of your interface, you have your tabs. These tabs are named off of the name of the folder where you got your images. So it comes pretty key to how you're naming your folders and how you're storing those images. So obviously I've made some where there's just wrinkles, um, some clothes, army clothes, medieval. But like this 02 is not a very good name for a folder. So I definitely would probably want to rename that folder and then import my images. So the next thing you got once you've imported your images, you're going to see you get thumbnails of all the images you've imported. Plus on the left hand side, you're going to see a larger scale of what image you're looking at. And this, to change the views, you just click on this little magnifying glass and it's going to change what image you're going to see here on the left hand side. Okay, within this previewer, you're also going to have an X and an F, and you're also going to have the file information, which is the file name, the size, and if it's 32 bit, and the extension. So I want to delete this one. Now, I don't want this here anymore. So all you would have to do is hit the X and I'm deleting only this image from this tab. So when I hit yes, it now just took that image out of my tab. The F is going to store that image into my favorites. So now, I, now that I've clicked the F, if I go to favorites, any picture that I've stored as my favorite is going to be in my favorites tab here. So here's the hair I just put into my favorites. So if I want to go to say clothes and say, yeah, I like that image. I use it a lot. It's definitely an image that's useful to me. Go ahead and hit the F, hit favorites. Now that's in my favorites. Okay, what well you also have, if you notice within medieval um, tab, I have these arrows that go left to right and zero through 1 through 25. So you can preview 25 images at a time within the thumbnails. However, I have more than that. I have up to 75 images. So that's what this tabs are going to be for. It's a cycle through to go through all your images. The next thing you got is this little thumbtack. So what the thumbtack will do is you notice when I select an image either it's from the large previewer or the thumbnails and it automatically loads the image into your texture palette and gets you ready to get going on the canvas. Now if I go back there and I put down my push pin and say okay I'm going to load multiple images before I want to exit my uh, texture loader or my alpha loader. So I'm going to load this one, this one, this one, this one, and whatever my last image is that I want to grab, I'm going to pick the thumbtack back up and click that last image. So that last image I select is going to be the image that automatically goes in my texture palette, but if you notice, it also loaded the rest of those images. So it's a really quick, easy way to load all my images. So what you have after that is the bottom part of our interface, which you have exit, clear, add, faves, and search. So if I hit exit, obviously I'm going to exit out of the loader. If I go back and I hit clear, it's going to ask me to clear a whole tab. So I don't want to clear that. Let's go to expressions and hit clear that. It's going to ask me clear all textures from expression tab. I'm going to click yes. So then when I go back, that tab is now gone. So I can go ahead and load other tabs. So how do you load a new tab? Well, that's what the ad's for. So if I click on add, it's going to open up a little menu here for me to be able to load whatever I want to load. So uh, let's load some heads. So I'm going to load some female heads. And remember the tabs will be based off the folder name. So these with numbers I would probably want to rename. But for the purpose of this demo this will work out just fine. So I want to unload all four of these images. So if I hit open it's going to now bring all four of those images within ZBrush and create thumbnails and put them in the texture loader. So now you notice I now have a 03 tab in my texture loader. And so hey I need to rename that then you just go ahead and remember and hit the clear and we'll get rid of that tab and hit yes. Now I can go back and name that folder whatever I want to name it.
Of course, there's the favorites tab that I've already gone through. And then you have a search capability. So right now I've already done a search. So I'm going to clear out a previous search. You would hit clear and it's going to ask you to clear all textures from the search tab. Hit yes. So now the search tab is empty now. So now I want to hit search and I'm going to search for, I need, I want to find that hair. So I know that the file name has hair in it. So I'm going to hit okay. And now it's going to pull up any pictures that have the word hair within the file name. So on things like these clothes, they have folds in the file name. So if I go back to my search tab, I'm going to clear this. Then I'm going to go ahead and search for folds. So now that I know that that's folds, and I'm going to click on that, and now it's going to bring up any image that has folds within it. So this interface works exactly the same for textures and for alphas. And that is the alpha and texture loader plugin for ZBrush.